All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome to the first episode of the new survival series, Ultra Modded Survival. I'm really great at coming up with titles for series, aren't I? I would have called it Modded Survival, but we've already done a series called Modded Survival, so I didn't want to confuse people by having another Modded Survival series with the same name. So I was like, huh, what can I call this? Well, we have an ultra lot of mods that are ultra cool, so let's call it Ultra Modded Survival. Yeah! Woo! Well, anyway. It's season four of uh, Minecraft Survival. Well, that's not including Aether. If you count Aether, it's, it's technically season five, but Aether was pretty short-lived, so I'm not really counting it as a season. But here we are, and uh, we're on Jerry's tree once again. I brought it into the brand new world. We'll get to how I'm gonna use it shortly here. But as far as what mods we have going on, there are a lot. You can check the description for a full list, but some highlights include Thomcraft, Tinker's Construct, Buildcraft, Industrial Craft, Galactic Craft, uh, Ore Spawn, uh, Sync Mods. We have Telepads, finally. So now we have uh, a method of teleportation. Doesn't require command blocks, so that's actually uh, super cool. Um, there's just an absurd amount of mods. Basically, what I did is I, I started off with um, the mods that are used on a server called Forgecraft, which is a server used for developing mods that go into uh, some of the Feed the Beast packs. And so I started off with that list of mods. Um, the, the guys who run Forgecraft were kind enough to uh, give me access to those, because some of them are like, they have beta stuff on them, and it's pretty cool. And then I went and added some more mods on top of that on my own, so that's where uh, that's where Galacticraft and, and Flans mod and, and Ore Spawn, Telepads, Sync mod, that's where all those come into play. There are a lot of mods, though. It's It just it puts Hexit to shame with the amount of mods that we have. So anyway, that said, I decided against Hardcore because I, I figured that with so many mods, the potential for something to go wrong, whether it be a bug or just something unexpected happening and, and me dying, uh, is is so high that, that Hardcore just isn't really all that feasible. So anyway, we're going to be uh, doing the survival series here. So, all right, here we go. This is the thing. Jerry's tree has, has stood by us so, so trustily for such a long time. But I think, you know, with my recent condo purchase, it's it's got me in the mood to expand my real estate portfolio. So I'm thinking of getting a second home. I may expand here. We'll leave Jerry's tree. We'll leave it. Um, but I think that uh, we may find a second base to go with that uh, we'll use for this series as a primary home, but still be able to come back to Jerry's tree whenever. And that uh, that basically gives us the opportunity to uh, start collecting resources from scratch rather than using the existing chests and, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that said... Uh, we should get rolling because it's it's gonna get dark pretty soon here because I've been talking about like stuff and, and rambling on with an intro so we should probably begin let's get into the series here actually let me let me really quickly um, keep keep track of my coordinates here so I don't lose it I'll screenshot it really quickly just so I don't have to go type it really quick and uh, we here we go into the lake. And let's, uh, let's go explore which direction do we want to start off in. Uh, oh god, what, what's happening? What's that? Oh, no, Carrie, Carrie, what are you doing? It's Carrie follow- Oh, what are you doing? You shouldn't be doing- You shouldn't be fo- are you Actually, you should be following. That's probably a good idea. Because I don't want to leave you back at Jerry's tree. You should, uh, you should follow me to wherever our next base is. So I don't know, we've got biomes of plenty installed. Uh, that's what's sort of controlling the landscape here. So it may actually be worth our while to uh, to just explore until we find a place that looks like it, it could be good for a home. We got some awesome big like redwood trees. Um, oh, another Ars Magica that's installed too. That's another big one that I, I forgot to name off. Again, if you want to um, if you want to look at the full list, it's in the description. It's a long list of mods. Uh, I almost forgot. I, I'm so used to like having stuff and and. It's it's so few and far between that I'm starting from scratch that I forgot to even get wood and stuff. So let me uh, let me start like I normally would um, by getting wood. You'll notice that I have a mod installed that that actually tells me what every block is from. Which you'd think it's it's kind of annoying when I'm just hovering over Minecraft grass and stuff. But there's so much stuff that it's really helpful to be able to know what mod it's actually from. 
So, okay, let us make a workbench. We'll actually start off by, uh, yeah, let's just make some, I don't know, some tools and stuff. We can begin by digging into, where should we dig into to get cobblestone? Actually, you know what? Um, there is a little mine area next to Jerry's tree that I can probably start off with. Perhaps I should stick close to Jerry's tree for now, just so I can, uh, I can sleep the night off and give myself a, an opportunity to have a full day of preparation to, uh, to explore and, uh, and find a new base. But for now, allow me to go in here in order to collect some cobblestone. What is this? Amber bearing stone. See, this is so helpful. Otherwise, I'd be like, what the heck is this? Okay, it's from Thumbcraft. What is this? It's copper ore for Galactocraft. Awesome. So helpful. Um, okay, so anyway, workbench. Let's just, we'll begin in here. And then uh, let me, what am I going to make? I guess I'm going to convert these all into planks and make some sticks. Make a pickaxe to begin with. And uh, let me just bring that to the, look at this, 96 pages. I calculated that there are, it's 12 wide by like 17. It's so about 200 items per page times 90. So we have almost 20,000 items in this. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how much stuff we have. Like, what is this? It's from the ore spawn mod, ancient dried mushroom spawn egg. Um, well, let's harvest it all. Actually, let's get a, a stone pickaxe first. Um, but then we'll harvest it all. Uh, you can see on the mini map, it actually highlights where there are mobs now. So uh, I think the darker they are, the, and the more they start to fade away, it means they're they're underground and such. Um, but if they're like fully opaque, it means they're on the same elevation as me, I believe. All right, so stone pickaxe. Here we go. Actually, let's make a couple of them. Um, make some more sticks and. Make some more of that. See if we can find some iron. All right, let's see if we can, can we harvest you with? Yes, we can. Okay, so we have an ancient dried mushroom spawn egg. Don't know what to do with that. Ooh, there's another one over here. Ancient dried creeper spawn egg. Um, so I, maybe I do something. I'm scared to have you with me. Maybe I'm gonna make you sit there. Don't go anywhere. I'll come back and get you, I promise. Uh, amber bearing stone. It doesn't look like it's harvestable with a stone pickaxe, so. Can I find some coal? Let me try to find some coal um, and actually make a sword as well. That's probably a good idea. Maybe I can uh, take out some cows because I'm going to want some food as well. And I'm also going to want a furnace. Oh, there we go. There's some iron. Um, obviously, I have my stuff in Jerry's tree, the, the furnaces and the workbenches. But since I am going to expand to a new base, I figure that uh, I'll start as if I was doing it completely from scratch. And Jerry's tree will be purely an aesthetic element at this point, uh, for now. Until we've gotten farther along and then we come back to it and we'll take advantage of what it has to offer. Ooh, what is this here? Uh, salt ore from the ore spawn mod. Huh. Hmm, more salt ore. Okay, let's keep harvesting this. Let's keep on harvesting. It's probably going to be nighttime soon. I don't want to die. Uh, but our spawn, our spawn is, is really uh, close to this area. It's just in the... Uh, the plane next to one of the uh, redwood trees, I believe. The redwood trees are the super tall dealios. Uh, more salt ore, more salt ores. I don't know what it, it's used to make, but I guess I can collect it. Um, why don't we actually look into what it's used to make? Oh, I totally forgot to switch back into recipe mode. Um, and let's see. So we have salt. Mm, salt ore. What do we use it? For smelt it into salt, and then we can use it to make popcorn and <laughs> bacon. Nice, nice. Um, all right. So, anyway, my hope is that with all these mods installed, this will be like the most epic, long-running series ever. I mean, it should be, unless something completely unexpected happens. It should be the longest-running series I've, I've ever done because just the sheer amount of of mods that we have. Um, I am so sorry, Pig, that has, he, we have the hats mod installed. You have a, is this, is this a, a Bane Pig? Oh, I can't, I can't kill him. I can't kill Bane Pig. He'll probably punch me and kill me. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'll kill not Bane Pig. Bane of Pigs? Bane of Pigs was the, uh, is the frying pan in Tinker's Con- God dang it! Get back here! I don't want to keep destroying stuff. Um, <laughs> God dang, what are, what are you doing? 
God dang it. Keep, there we go. Oh, I forgot the morph mod is installed. I can turn into everything I kill. This is gonna be amazing. Oh God, this is the best. Okay, so I got some, uh, some pork. Um, I'm going to, let me actually make a furnace over here. And that way I can get some food going on. This is gonna be a little bit dangerous. It really is. Okay, so here we go. We go I'm trying to create a safe route to drop on to drop on down without oh I can go right there. Um anyway, okay, so let's make a furnace. I might sleep off the night, actually. Um, but first I will start cooking some food. Here we go. Boom, and I know it's a waste of coal, but whatever. We have 19 of them. Not a big deal. Okay, now let me go sleep off the night. Oh, can I take you out as well? And the the book that's first thing in our inventory is a, um, oh god, that guy looks like he's ma mad. He's mad? He's mad and he's coming for, what are you? Hecate from Ars Magica. I'm gonna take you out before you take me. Oh god, oh I can turn into you now. And then there's also the dismemberment mod and the body parts are floating. This is amazing. This is the best. Oh, this is the best. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier the fact that if you think my voice sounds strange, it's because I'm sick. But I really wanted to get the series going this weekend. Oh man, we're just building up the Morph Mod uh, arsenal. Um, oh, I think in order to make telepads, I do need Ender Pearls, so I'm going to want to focus on that. Um, anyway, Bane Pig is over there. <laughs> uh, but I will leave him alone, because he is too cool. Too cool for school. All right, I'm gonna have to run up the tree, good old fashioned, uh, because again, I am not doing the command blocks this time around. Because we have actually on top, god dang it, on top of the telepads mod, there are like three other ways that we can teleport with the other mods. I think that uh, build craft or industrial craft, they have a teleportation mechanism. Uh, there are just a bunch of ways to do it. There's, there is just an unbelievable amount of stuff to, uh, to check out. That it's just. I don't expect to be able to fully explore 20,000 items anytime soon. By the way, Bibliocraft's still here. we still got the fancy lamps. Oh, yeah. All right, so let me sleep this off. And this way we'll get a full day to prep rather than half the day of me doing intros to the series and then, and then trying to sort of pick it up from there. Anyway, okay, so off we go. And I'm going to try not to die doing this dive. Um, I do a better sprint installed as well, so that's helpful. Hello, angry zombie from Thomcraft. I know who you are from Skyden. Yeah, I have experience with you. You got a little bit extra health, and now I can be an angry zombie and, and get brains. Brains. Ma, what are these, like, rainbow... I think it's a rainbow moth from Orspawn, if I'm not mistaken. I can't hover... Oh, it's a butterfly. I can't hover over it long enough. All right, main pig still, still chilling. Still chilling. Okay, I can't sprint anymore, so let me walk back and then... Smelt some more, get some more, uh, get some more pork chop from you over here, mister. All right, and there we go. All right, everybody, remember the, what the heck? What the heck? I could turn into an ant. What, an un, what are you? An unstable, unstable ant. And now I can become an ant. <laughs> I want to be an ant. This is going to be amazing. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, if I remember the morph mod correctly, it is the brackets to toggle? Yes, it is. Can I be, I can be an ant. You can barely even see the avatar of it. Let's see, does that, do I hit enter? Yes, oh my god, oh my god, I'm becoming an ant. <laughs> what is, what's behind me? What is behind, what the heck is behind me? What is going, does this ant have a special, tra oh my, don't eat me, don't eat me, Carrie, don't eat me. Please don't eat, what is this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm an ant. I am an ant, everyone. Okay, anyway, I'm an ant that's going to smelt more pork chop. It's going to be great. I'm going to be an ant that kills other things. Okay, now let me get my food back up. To You're looking at me like, what the heck happened to you? What happened to my... Oh, 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 oh. stay sitting, stay sitting. We're cool, we're cool. Um, oh, God, I'm so small that I'm actually running into the particles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's obnoxious. All right, abort mission. Abort mission. Uh, oh, let's turn into the Hecate. That'll be awesome. It'll be super sweet. Okay, so now I am a floating thing that has a. a oh God! No! 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 Who? No. Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do it! Bad! 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 Okay! No! 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 I'm burning! I'm burning! I'm burning! Stop! God! Okay! Bad! Apparently, 
Apparently, no, don't, don't, don't. Oh god, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna die. I'm good. All right, my now my health bar and my food bar is all darkened and stuff. I don't know why. What the heck is happening with the? I have to look into what mod that is. That's weird. That's with something. Whatever is trailing behind me. That's some weird stuff. All right, we're good. We're good. All is well. All is well in this land. Um, that's the Tinker's Construct uh, guide booklet once again that we had in the beginning of uh, of Hexit. Um, what what is this sound? Something crazy going on. Um, okay, okay. Focus, focus. We're getting too distracted with things here. Uh, what do I want to do? Let me just mine out. Or should I make a? Uh, I'm gonna make more sticks, and then I'll make just another another pickaxe. Or no, actually, I should. What am I doing? I should smelt my iron. I know I'm wasting coal here. I'm wasting coal. My bad, my bad. But I may as well make an iron sword and iron pickaxe. We have five, so that is just enough. Is there anything in close proximity that we can get while it's smelting? Uh, let's see, can I mine out the copper with, uh, oh, I can, cool. I didn't know if that was, uh, iron and up only to get. Okay, Galacticraft, here we come. We're gonna go to the moon, we're gonna go to Mars. I believe that's all that's accessible at the moment. So we're gonna go to both of them in a long time. That's gonna take a while. Uh, there, oh my god, so much stuff I'm looking forward to doing. Um, as far as the, like, adventure aspect of things, the ore spawn mod has so many bosses, it's ridiculous, and they're all cra Let me show you. Let me show you this. One sec. Um, the really cool thing is I can search by mod, and, and it'll give me, like, all the different things that are in the mod. Oh, but actually, I should show you the spawners, um, because here we go. Look, that giant moth thing, that's ore spawn. The giant scorpion, the freaking Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> this thing oh man so that's sort of like the divine rpg aspect of what we've got going on here um and then let's see what else do we have then as far as the more technical stuff we have thomcraft and galactic craft and industrial craft and oh man it's amazing it is amazing i'm so happy okay so we have our iron let me do this let me make an iron pickaxe let me make an uh, iron sword and I guess we'll go into the mines and uh, collect some more resources before we set off on our way to um, find new uh, new real estate. So I, I'm hoping I can just find some more iron so I can easily... Uh, what is this? Marble from Project Red. I can mine that with stone as well. But let's see, what is this? Uh, modular force field system. I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what half of these things do, um, but fortunately the uh, some of the Forgecraft dudes, um, Direwolf in in particular, have offered to uh, help clarify any any questions about the mods. So um, fortunately, I, I should have help in the event that uh, I need it, which I'm sure I will. <laughs> okay, more iron. Let's just be a little bit quicker. Use the iron pickaxe. There we go. Make some armor. Um, I'll start off with vanilla stuff just because I know it, but then as we get further along I'll, I'll look into how to make sort of modded armor and, and whatnot. So anyway, um, let's see. The only thing I've changed with uh, one of the mods in advance is with the ore spawn mod. I disabled some of the, uh, I was checking it out in advance, and I, I disabled some of the absurd bosses that actually do spawn naturally <laughs> in, in some occasions. Um, that just, they wreck you immediately. They literally one hit, ooh, I almost hit you, I'm so sorry. They literally one hit you, and I was like, I don't want to deal with that initially. So after I get super decked out, maybe I'll, I'll re-enable them. But for the sake of balance, that mod is more of an endgame mod, so I may wait. Um, so as not to unbalance other mods that, that require weaponry and stuff. Um, I may wait until later to, uh, sort of fully pursue that one. Um, I believe the ore spawn mod is part of... It's like the main focus of that crazy craft mod pack, which a lot of people were asking me to do. But again, since I wanted to make it more of a custom thing, um, I I threw it in. So yeah, we got it. But uh, then we have all of our other stuff as well. Okay. So anyway, let's um. I, I guess let's let's go. That didn't amount to be much of a mine. Oh wait, is there a mine here? Let's see. What is that? Actually, there might be a mine here. I just want to find as much iron as possible before I, uh, what is this, more salt ore, uh, chimerite ore, chimerite ore, something, I don't know. My inventory is going to fill up so quickly again. God, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, oh, I should make torches as well. 
Um, okay, let's see. It's going to get dark here pretty quickly, I'm sure. Copper ore. So we have two types of copper ore. One for thermal expansion and one for galacticraft, I guess. Um, all right, well, let me just get this stuff. I don't know what it does once again, but I'll get it. And then we will start roaming. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Let me refill my hunger. And, uh, yeah, let's do this thing. Let's go off on an expedition to expand my real estate portfolio. It's going to be great. All right, come on. Wait, why are you sitting? We're going on an expedition. Don't be sitting. <laughs> let's go. Can't be lazy. Uh, okay, and then if I find pigs or cows on the way, I will, uh, I'll take them out as well. Oh, God, my inventory is almost completely full up once again. What is that? What is that? There's a tentacle thing popping out of the ground. A taint, tentacle. What is a tentacle? Um, what, what is it? Huh? What the heck is a tentacle? I feel like it would probably hurt me if I get, whoa, it's, it's waving. Oh, God, it hurts. It hurts. I'm going to kill the tentacle. Ow. Okay. No, ow, it hurts. Ow, it hurts a lot. Oh, God. Um, I need, like, a bow or something. Oh, God, it's gonna, it's gonna kill me. Terry, stand back. Stand back. It's not good. Oh, and it regens. <gasps> I can't, I can't, I can't tackle him yet. What are you? What are you, atomic slime? You're cute. Oh, you can hurt me. Oh, God, you can hurt me. You're not. Please, follow the way of Jerry. No, 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 Carrie, don't go in there. It's not good. It's not good. It's not a good place. Not a good place for you. Please, follow me. Follow me. It's not a good place. Oh, God. Um... Hey, yikes, there's so much stuff that's not good. Wow, what do we have here? Okay, redwood bark. I was... Oh, nice. Skeleton with a duck hat on his head. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Tropicraft is another big mod install. There is just... Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to be... For, like, the next... The first ten episodes, I'm just going to be naming off new mod items that I that I run into. Um, okay, so where should I go? This seems to be just an ocean over here. I'd like to stay on land for now. I'm not thoroughly equipped to, to handle the open seas at the moment. So, oh, here we go. Pigs. Pigs, 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 pigs. Everyone remember the pigs that gave their lives for us in episode one. It's, it's gone from the cows first and now it's the pigs. Remember them all. They made this possible. <laughs> um, okay, it's going to start getting dark here pretty soon. And I should try finding some sheep to make a new bed at my new house. Oh, God, where'd Carrie go? Carrie, Carrie, you're still with me. I can't lose you. You're the only friend I've got in this world at the moment. Okay, here, piggy, piggy, here, piggy. Oh, what are those? What are those? I think they're special cows. I'm going to take out special cow and hopefully it doesn't try to kill me. <laughs> Please don't try to kill me. Oh, but I haven't seen these sheep yet, unfortunately. That's no good. I should uh, I should make some cheers. What are you? Golden apple cow. And do you drop golden apples by any chance? Yes, you do. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Okay. Well, I would like some golden. And, oh, my God. You drop apples and golden apples and raw beef. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Remember the golden apple cows. Remember, ever, remember all of the, the mobs giving their lives for us. Oh, God. That was an ant. I was like, what? you gonna try to kill me? Okay, Carrie, I know you're scared. I know you're scared. Oh, God, it's dark. It's dark. It's not good. It's not good. I'm gonna have to seal myself into a little... But what are you? A mana creeper? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, well, I'm safe right here, right? I'm safe? I'm safe. Let me build myself a little... A little hut. <laughs> Should I build? No, wait. Um. Let me go... I'll just take out the... Mana creeper, which do you explode? Hold on, let me just and oh god, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's take ow, ow, ow. I don't know what the heck just happened. I will make this my home for the night. Uh, and I can seal it up, I guess, with I don't know what should I seal it up with? Some cobblestone, that makes the most sense, I would think. And then it's gonna get real dark. Yeah, it's real dark in here. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm gonna put down a, uh, I'm gonna put down a furnace. Gonna put down a furnace, and I will, um, actually no, I will make some torches. That's probably the best thing I can do right now. Boom. All right, let's shed some light on the subject. Why is this brown, yucky, icky water? Ew. Ew. Well, at least you're here with me, Carrie. My buddy, my buddy. Okay, so you can smelt some stuff. Um. 
And yeah, I guess what we'll do is we'll hang out down here. We'll wait for the night to end and then we'll continue on um, after I've smelted some stuff and, and taken care of some inventory management. We'll continue on our search for some more real estate, but we'll conclude episode one there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully you're excited for the new series, which should, uh, well, I anticipate to be the longest running, most epic series to date. Anyway, if you've enjoyed, a rating would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.